Hi friends, are you interested in selling information products? Maybe on Clickbank, maybe knowledge products, maybe you wanna, maybe you know how to do something and you wanna sell it. So what is the best way to sell something? The first one is to find the people that really want to do something, you know, like you have to choose a market and then start writing for that market. Then you have to choose the information or the message that you want to give to these people so they can uh, listen to you, they can be affected by the message and then you start selling a lot. And then also you have to choose the media. Which media are your, uh, I don't know, the people you want to sell something, you know, they may be there on Amazon, maybe they're on uh, blogs. It's your work to find where these people are. Then when you have all these things, you have a good method, you maybe make a lot of money with that, you know, trade or skill you're going to teach people. Then now you have to put it in writing. There's a lot of people in Fiverr that they can do a transcript from your uh, MP3s. Now MP3s are as easy as go to your cell phone or iPhone or whatever you have and then start, you know, recording the information you want to teach people. Then you can make videos also. For videos you have one <laughs> uh, camera and your cell phone and then just put it on a website. You know, there's many websites they do it for you. Click funnels and a lot of things that you can use. It's not cheap, but at least they can help you. And the other thing, when you want to write to these people, I'm going to just talk about John Capos. So this was a person that it was really, really one of the fathers of advertisement in the United States of America. And still you can download the for free PDF tested advertising methods. So there's many, but today we're going to just consider this one. I found it in this website, the name is swiped.co. And here, a lot of people are interested to learn these tricks. So you're going to learn things that still are in use. First of all, you know, you, you need an attention grabber. You know, this is the invitation to read a story. And as we can see, most of the genius uh, copywriters like Gene Schwartz, John Capos, Ogilvy, uh, so many of them, Gary Halbert, uh, and so on, all of these genius people, they just have these attention grabbers. And the purpose of this one is you want to get involved, you know, in the story. And, you know, back in those days, most of these people, they sold through newspapers and magazines. So imagine you, you want to get distracted. Like right now we have computers, we have cell phones, we have iPads, we have a million websites and apps to do. But in those days, the only thing to g uh, get the attention of people were the newspapers so in this case you can see how this guy in this section he's just about to sit and start like you know playing the piano then this attention grabber because you want to know stories there's a lot of there were a lot of stories in those days but still people want to listen stories and why is so important because this person is about to sell something that it was really successful it was a piano course so you see Nothing that you have in the first part is telling you they're selling something. It's not talking about the name of a company. Uh, here it's talking about money making section opportunities. Or so on. So here there's nothing. There's no company. There's no logo. There's nothing that is telling you that this is an ad. It's just a story. And Dean Jackson, the creator of the opt-in page, is talking about this uh, as the the analogy or the illustration of the cheese and whiskers. They say that if you put the, just the cheese and then people is going to get the cheese. But as soon as they feel e even the claws or maybe the whisker of a cat, the mice, they're going to just jump out of the trap and get out of the trap. So the more cheese you put, put in your advertisement, then people are going to be easier for you to go and trust you. But if in this, uh, you know, you know, like they say that the companies, us as marketers, we are the cats. And then we have whiskers and we have claws and we have, you know, fangs, you know, we can eat mice. So all the people now, they don't want to be sold by anyone, but everyone to want to buy something. Something that I learned many years ago, selling uh, face to face, like 20 years ago. 
So as you can see here, is everything is set up for people to get involved and uh, uh, so to speak trap, but it's just the cheese. They don't see the trap, they don't see the name of the company, they don't see nothing. And this is the, the first mistake I've seen people doing when they want to sell something. If for example, I have a sales letter uh, very similar to this one, but I did a PowerPoint presentation and then I got like 97,000 views and a lot of leads came through this still, you know, people are asking me about some services, but I stopped some like a year ago offering that service because that offer was canceled, but I left the, the video there and people still watching it and watching it and watching it. So I know how to do this for personal experience, but it was through learning from people like Capos or John Capos, Gene Schwartz are the oldest. Uh, also more uh, like modern times, we have Gary Halbert, but he's, he's passed away. We have Ogilvy. We have so many of them that you can find on Pinterest. Like for example, Joe Sugarman. So you can find all these uh, all ads here on Pinterest. If you have an account, just type, you know, all ads and then you have Capos, you have Gene Schwartz, you have uh, Joe Sugarman, you have Ogilvy, you have uh, Gary Halbert, and many of all uh, of these people that they were genius when they sold something online. Or in this case, it was, uh, an, um, you know, something that it wasn't like today, but they still were doing it. So the first part is the title. And uh, still, if you go to y YouTube, uh, you can go there and, and that title, they laugh at me or they laugh when I, you know, there's still people using it and it's attracting, you know, the, the attention. Like if you go, they laugh at this guy, when, but when he was start singing and that was the story of Paul Potts and all these people in American Idol that they didn't, they weren't like good looking according to the standards of modern times but their voices they were beautiful so they still you know this this attract the attention of people because it's the story of the underdog you know people that didn't have any chance to be successful and they were successful so they laughed when i sat down at the piano but when i started to play and then it's the second invitation to keep reading and then the grabber is this one uh, and as you can see here this girl is telling this guy can he really play a girl whispered heavens no arthur claimed he never played i know in his life so you see so we want to know if it's going to be embarrassing we want to know you know we have this thing inside that we want to laugh at people we want to watch people being humiliated so this is like a mix between you want to see what's going to happen it's going to be you know a uh, a total disaster or maybe he's gonna just surprise the audience that's why here it just it stops here and this hyphen and that's it and then what happened and then the next paragraph is telling you Arthur had just played the rosary the room rang with applause and decided that this would be a dramatic moment for me to make my debut to the amazement of all my friends I strode confidently over the piano and sat down Jack is up to this, to his old tricks. Somebody chuckle. The crowd laughed. They were all certain that I couldn't play a single note. You see, every paragraph has the purpose to keep doing or to keep reading. And as uh, Joe Sugarman says, is a he called it a slippery slide, where people keep reading and reading and reading and they can stop. So this is the same. That people are not doing in these times. All people, they just want to sell, you know. Buy this. 30% off. All the people that they're not known, they want to follow the method of Amazon. And that's why they, they, uh, they fail miserably. Because Amazon, first of all, has all our names, addresses, and credit cards. If you're a small company, you don't have nothing from the people. You're trying to sell. So this is the best method when you don't have all the things that Amazon has. You know, the customers, the confident, the prime, the returns, all the things that make us confident to just buy something on Amazon. But since you don't have nothing of this, you still have to follow all the rules of marketing that they were set by these geniuses since the 20s, 30s, 40s, and so on. 
So they said, can he really play? Heavens no, she said. He, said, he, he never played a note in all his life. This is going to be good. So they want to laugh at this guy. So I want to know now what's going to happen. I decided to make the most of the situation with mock dignity. I drew out the silk handkerchief and lightly dusted off the piano keys. Then I had seen an imitator, uh, Paderewski, do the vaudeville sketch. What do you think of the execution? Called voice from the rear. What if Fairburnet? Came back the answer and the crowd rocked with laughter. Then I started to play. So you see, it's setting the situation, you know. The most embarrassing situation that maybe comes to your mind is when you want to do something good and then people will see your reaction. But this is a mix that he's playing with the subconscious mind because he's telling us uh, he's going to, you know, people are going to laugh. He's going to be humiliated, you know. And then comes in the school when somebody maybe wants to do something nice and he was humiliated by everyone. But at the same time, we have, you know, the doubt. Maybe it's a, the underdog story, you know, the David fits Goliath or so on. Then I started to play it. And what happened? They say it was beautiful. He played like a master, you know. And then all the people start like being, you know, blown away by the, this performance. It seemed as if the master musician himself were speaking to me, speaking through the medium of music, not in words but in chords, not in sentence but in exquisite melodies. Then what happened? A complete triumph, you see? And then each subtitle, it has the, the same purpose, just to get you into the story, you know? Read more, read more, and read more. And then that is w it's why they want to do, you know? Then how I play to learn. So this, this, this part is when he's successful, the underdog, you know, becomes successful. David defeats Goliath and then becomes the king of Israel. So the same story of an underdog. How I learned to play with our teacher. This is a good question. Who taught me? How he got these superpowers? And it's like the Spider-Man story, you know? Spider-Man, everyone know. Everyone knows that he was bitten by this spider. So everyone wants to know the trick. Even people, maybe they, I don't know if there's some kids that they don't separate reality from fiction and they got bitten by, you know, by these spiders wanting to be Spider-Man. So they're so desperate in their lives. So they want to know how I learned. And he's telling them the method that he learned, that is no conventional method, that he can do it good. Play any instrument. Teach yourself, you know, and then teach yourself is being, you know, the a huge market now. Clickbank and there's like like seven or ten websites like like Clickbanks, because now Clickbank is huge, but there's more companies selling stuff because people want to learn new tricks. They want to surprise the crowd. They want to surprise their girlfriend, boyfriend. They want to be the next uh, Beethoven, you know. Or at least the next Richard Traderman, or maybe Johnny, or whatever of those guys. And then now play an instrument. They say, You can do it too. I teach you. I give you this. Have it. And then send for our free booklet and demonstration lessons. And here's when everything, you see. So you can see here the attention, the interest, the desire. And now we have to do the call to action, you know. The action is the last part. Thousands of successful students never dream. They possess musical ability until it was revealed to them by a remarkable musical ability test, which we send entirely without cost with our interesting free book booklet. And this is here. If you are earnest about wanting to play your favorite instrument, blah, 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 they say it's not too late. So these people are just asking for the address of the people. And what's happening here, they're just giving people, or in this case to the marketing, permission to be sold. So after this, they said the booklet, but the booklet in reality is a huge sales letter that is going to tell you all the methods they did, blah, 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 something that they're going to consume maybe in 10 minutes and they're going to want to buy the big package. Sometimes they just ask for a dollar, and that's it, five dollars. A lot of marketers, they do that today. They say, one dollar, and I send you the book just for the shipping. Or five dollars just to ship you this book. 
you see so this is so important for us that nobody knows us maybe and maybe we're new we want to sell something online and then now this method still works because it's the way that you look for Frank Kern you know you look for people like uh, Russell Branson uh, the guy that invented the, this secret method and so many marketers you know also Evan Pagan the guy from Digital Marketer, which is Ryan Dice, and all these people, they copy the same method to sell things. And now those are the biggest marketers in America for information products. And as you can see, this still works. Just you have to put it in a video, like Tony Robbins. Like if you go here, look for personal power, and then go step by step, minute by minute, how he did it through television, you know. It doesn't matter. You can still sell on television, on radio, on YouTube, on Pinterest, on any platform, you know. It doesn't matter the platform. Just you have to go where the fishes are, with the people that really want to change their life in the case of personal power. And then through these uh, infomercials, you can see Tony Robbins, he's so young. He, ma he must be like 60 now. He was like 30 years old back then. And then through this one, he starts selling his personal power method, you know, for self-improvement. He sold it for $79. He sent cassettes and the video and everything to repeat yourself. So this is how, you know, Tony Robbins became <laughs> one of the greatest uh, salesmen through infomercials. So it's the same, but he followed the same method, the same method over and over again. So when, when Facebook is telling you, no, those just 30 minutes video don't put a bigger don't listen to don't listen to uh, uh, Facebook when you when uh, when uh, Twitter says just a hundred characters when you try to sell something on Facebook and they tell you no no more than 400 characters then just go to other platform or start your own and then have all the information you want to sell to these people so everything works and the people that is effective when uh, the direct response marketing was alive. <coughs> like these people that sold so many things and the thing we just see is the same people that keep selling, you know, the secret, there's no secret. It's just a method and they follow the method and then they got success. As you can see here, they ask him for, you know, to send the information to this. Uh, they said <coughs> instrument supply when needed, cash or credit, you see. We're making a special sign and send you the convenient coupon now before it's too late to gain the benefits of this offer instrument. So you see, and they say, please send me free book, music lessons in your own house with introduction by Frank Crane, demonstration lessons and particular of your special offer. I'm interested in the following course. And they say, what instrument? And they, they want to know a specific one and then the address and then they send back all the information that they want. So they just send a, a, a second sales letter with all the information. They send all the testimonials of people that they, uh, they didn't know anything about music and became one of these people that are here. They laugh when I sat down at the piano, but when I started to play, they become masters. So as you can see, you have to tell people, you know, transport their mind from the place that they're there right now to the place that you want them to be, you know, great musician, to lose weight, to have confidence, like in the case of Tony Robbins, personal power, you know, like he make a lot of money, he got depressed, so the same story over and over, but don't just go to Instagram or any social media and try to sell, for goodness sake, because you're going to be <laughs> so so fail. Because, or you're going to fail miserably, because, you know, there's a system, you know. You tell the story of people, people, they're going to get, you know, hooked or attached to your story, and then they're going to want to buy the information that you're selling. There's two things, you know, and it's really important. There's always that you have to sell something and tell the price. But just don't focus 
on, on, on the price and everything. Just just trying to learn and then apply all these methods. You can go to, to this website and just download tested advertising and you can download the, the it's, I think it's an ebook or something. You can just go for this book and you can find it all, all over online because they're from the 30s or something that you know they're still I don't know if they have copyright or something or you know you just can buy it on Amazon I bought a lot of my books there from Jay Abraham books from all kinds of people like Dan Kennedy uh, Joe Polish uh, Dan Sullivan all these people that are great teaching all these things so that's why it's so important for me today to present you this information and I hope that you can sell more information products that you can improve your marketing but remember just tell the story tell a people's story the struggle all the problems they have and don't don't try to just sell it on social media because you're not going to be successful people they're not going to give you a credit card more if it's a new website nobody knows you know where is this money don't copy amazon because amazon is just a giant beast he's a crocodile you know just try to do the same way these people did it ask for information maybe people they can just download it in your website uh, you can have a squish page and download page and then get information and just keep following up until the people have enough confidence in you so they can buy for you unless you do this you're not going to be successful you know success has a path all these people did it many years ago and you can do it too so that's it for today. See you in the next video.